The Net Zero Teesside project was awarded £28 million from UKRI's Industrial Decarbonisation Challenge Programme. The project is currently developing their engineering plans for the world's first flexible gas-fired power plant with CCUS. It will capture 2 million tonnes of CO2 annually, it will be online from 2026, and it will connect with another UKRI-funded project, the Northern Endurance Partnership, which connects the Teesside and Humber industrial clusters together to store their CO2 in the Endurance Aquifer in the North Sea. Net Zero Teesside Power will play a key role ensuring the security of electricity supply in the UK. It will support the government in reaching its goal of net zero in the power sector by 2035 and for the country as a whole by 2050. We've now got uh, hundreds of people working across the country in Teesside, in Manchester, in London, Milton Keynes, Reading, uh, delivering this really important groundbreaking project. Net Zero Teesside Power will be the world's first major gas-fired power station with carbon capture and will lie at the heart of a group of decarbonised industries connected to the CO2 transportation and storage infrastructure being developed by the Northern Endurance Partnership. Our gas power station is going to be using the latest and most efficient technology. It will be the first of its kind and it's going to produce up to 860 megawatts of clean power. That's about enough to power about 1.3 million homes. The CO2 that's produced is about 2 million tonnes per year, uh, and that CO2 is going to be captured, transported 145 kilometres out into the North Sea, and then stored safely and permanently deep beneath the North Sea. The project can support over 3,000 jobs during construction and another 1,000 during operations out until the 2050s and the project could add up to 3.5 billion pounds in value to the economy over its lifetime. Our team is working with schools and colleges to develop plans for apprenticeships and job coaching so that people can make the most of the opportunities that the project will bring, whether that's helping someone get back into work or visiting schools to bring science and technology to life for pupils with a project right on their doorstep. UKRI funding has really enabled us to accelerate the project's development. We've placed design competition contracts with engineering companies, construction contractors, carbon capture technology licenses and power vendors. Gas power with CCS, large scale hydrogen projects and an offshore CCS scheme that connects two industrial clusters will all be world first. This is a flagship project for the UK to enable industrial decarbonisation at scale to decarbonise the Teesside industrial cluster.